Hello and welcome to Tech Checker. Today I'm going to be showing you this um, 8mm f3.5 Ultra HD fisheye lens for Canon EF mount DSLR cameras, um, non zoom fixed focus length. Um, it also has 11 glass elements in 8 groups with an aperture of 3.5 to f22 minimum focus distance of 3.94 inches on a Canon DSLR body so let's have a look it's got multi coated suitable for full frames APS-C sensor multi coated um, it's got all the business on the back here uh, full frame angle is 200 degrees, 200 degrees by 160. APS-C is 200 by 160 by 104 degrees. Uh, the lens diameter is uh, the diameter and the length is 77 times 84 millimeters. It weighs 519 grams, so it's fairly heavy. Let's have a look what we get in the box. The first thing we get is a nice cleaning cloth, always handy. Keep it for this lens. A little user guide with a guarantee in that. Some information on there. Turn it off. A bag to carry it in, which is lined on the inside. Itself. Let's take that out there. Put this one side. Here's the lens, it's got some weight to it. Let's take the cover off. You can see the, the lens there. This even comes off, this part comes off as well. Right, sure this end comes off. There we go. Right, so that, even that comes off. See how round that is? It's unbelievable. That's like you see on a submarine. Then put it back on. So Clip there to lock in and lock out as well. So this is something else I've got which I'm going to try out which is an adapter so I can use this fisheye lens on my Panasonic camera for doing 4k videos. So connect that onto there. The Panasonic body. Connect that onto there and turn it on. Remembering that this is manual focus, so you're going to have to change it so that it's um, non lens fixed or whatever, so you can actually um, use this. You can zoom in obviously on this one to get the focus exactly right. It's really wide. I've got a 12 millimeter on my on here, which I normally use. Um, I'll attach some video uh, to show you the difference between 12 millimeter um, lens, 12 millimeter kit lens. What comes with this camera compared to this 8 millimeter fisheye lens? It gives a really good um, picture with this on so I'm going to do some video and attach that to the end but looking through the viewfinder there's no distortion out on the outside I actually got this for this camera that's why I got the adapter specifically for this lens um, got the aperture adjuster there so as I say I'm going to do some video and attach it to the end of this so it gives you some sort of idea of the quality of this lens so far looks really good nice and heavy hopefully this video is going to be helpful okay so this is with the eight millimeter 
um, Canon EF fit lens mount on my uh, Lumix G7. Um, it's a nice weight, fits on the camera really well with the adapter um, and you can see just how wide it is, it's not distorting at all, I'm getting a really good uh, angle. This is 8mm, I'm now going to go to the standard um, lens that comes with the camera, um, the 12 to 16 and show you the difference. Okay so this is now with the, I'll zoom in just to show you. That's maximum 60 and that's right out to 12 millimeters. Gives you an idea, you can't even see the frame this side of me and this side of me. And that's the 12 millimeter on the standard kit lens. So you can see the difference between this and the 8 millimeter um, Canon fit lens with the adapter onto this camera. Hopefully this has been of some help to you. Yeah, but you can, if you know what you're doing, take the click out which is obviously handy for videoing, for changing the aperture without making any um, sounds to the microphone when you change the aperture, it's nice and quiet. Even as standard it is quiet, but it can be de-clicked as you can see there. So hopefully this has been of some help.